When it's this warm outside, nobody wants to turn on the oven. Today, the chef in the hat, Chef Terry Rotoro, is sharing a recipe that is light, delicious, and a little bit spicy. And you know what? This time of year, when it gets warm in Seattle, we all become lethargic, and none of us want to turn on the stove. It gets hot. You know, you just want to, you just want to take it easy. So what I did is I had the, my lovely wife, Kathy, went to the market, uh, the farmer's market, and picked up a watermelon that is... I wish you would lift that watermelon. I felt like I was at the gym with those sandbags. <laughs> it was super heavy, which is how you should pick your watermelon. You should tap it. It should feel very full, not hollow. And um, super beautiful and ripe. Look at this oh, gorgeous that watermelon. That looks so it's good. Really beautiful. And uh, the cool thing about watermelon is um, it is not a dream. You can actually keep the rind and you can pickle them, which is a great garnish to... Let's say you're doing a grilled steak or grilled uh, pork loin or something like this. You throw that on the barbecue and then you use those pickled rind to do a nice little salad garnish on the side. And it's really, really cool. I like and that, no that you don't waste anything, which is great. That, right. Which is also part of the traditional French cooking. We don't waste anything. So I sliced my watermelon, as you can see, by half and then by quarter. And then I'm making a mini sandwich. Part of this recipe is basically, if you're on the Mediterranean, on a Greek island, the sun is sunny, <laughs> and uh, you have a watermelon and some feta cheese. So I'm slicing the watermelon and creating half-moon sandwiches. I've got some feta cheese that I've cut beforehand and put it right on top of the watermelon like so, and creating a nice, um, nice kind of like a sandwich idea just like this, and then I put the other slice right on top. Wow. And, but wait, wait, this, oh, actually, before I do that, sorry, I love seasoning. So I got some fresh herbs. As you can see here, I have a garden that is really, really flourishing right now. We have all kinds of stuff. We have bronze fennel. We have one of my favorite herbs in the summertime is anise isa, which is basically part of the mint family, but it's not a mint. It's much lighter than mint, more delicate. So I like to put a few leaves of that in, um, in between the layers of watermelon and feta cheese. Now, feta is very salty, so you don't want to put any salt on this. But what you want to do is put one of my favorite ingredients. Have you guys ever heard of this? What is it? It's called chili, uh, spicy chili crisp. It's called... Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I had to mom. order that online to find it, but I love it. It's a very delicious product. It's not very, you don't pick that in your garden. It's not necessarily a, um, you know, fresh product, but it's a beautiful umami and then sort of flavor. And I love to put this, it's got nice spice. It's crunchy. It's got a little chili oil in it. So you put that in between the layer and you put that right on top of, right between your watermelon slices. And you create these wonderful sandwiches. And then of course, it's your turn to play Martha Stewart, <laughs> you know, with nostrichums, violas, all this stuff is edible. Uh, brown spinel, you just take a little bit of brown spinel and create a little nest right here. Oh, all this will, will make it look very pretty. And then you finish with a little bit of anise ice up. And inside the herbs that I have chopped, one of my favorite herbs all year round is thyme. I love fresh thyme. You drizzle the whole thing with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, like this. And you finish with a little bit of cracked pepper, like so. And you know what? That, with a little glass of pastis, or a nice little rosé sitting on the bench, watching uh, the water go by. I don't know about yes. you, Mark, but I would definitely love that. <laughs> That sounds pretty good to me. Now, while we've been home, you've been doing stay-at-home recipes online. You've been telling people a little bit more about how you cook and sharing things. What was the inspiration and, and what's kind of the theme among those things that you teach us? Well, the thing that I've been focusing on is um, there is a fish out there that most people are not familiar with. It's called Alaskan pollock. It's all wild. It's a fishery that's 100% sustainable. It's one of the biggest fishery in the world. And the fish is like endless. I mean, it's one of the fish that we can eat every day and never be uh, destroying the actual um, fish itself, the fish family. 
So I recommend it. It's also very inexpensive. And this time, in this time of uncertainty, people losing their job and everything, you know, you have to look into different parts of, I mean, I love wild salmon and halibut. Who doesn't? But, you know, that's 15, 20, 25 bucks a pound where, you know, you can find frozen pieces, four ounces of beautiful Alaskan wild pollock for maybe 450 a pound, five bucks a pound. You can't go wrong with five bucks a pound for fish, especially yeah. when the fish is a delicious. So I've done it many different ways. I've done it cooked very slowly, not olive oil, confit, and, you know, just showing people different tricks of how to use it, baked with olive tapenade on top in the oven, very quickly, seven, eight minutes, you get this gorgeous piece of fish. So anyway, many different ways to use it. And I, I just, I'm trying to teach people how to cook from home without panicking about, you know, oh, I haven't been in a restaurant in two months, I'm missing, well, that's great. I want you to miss my restaurant, I want you to come. <laughs> but I also, you know, you need to be self-sufficient in some ways. So I'm trying to teach people how to go back to cooking seafood at home because many people are afraid of the smell of fish in their house, aren't they? And good fish does not smell. <laughs> Good to know. Also, Chef is working with Food Lifeline, donating a dollar from every order picked up from his restaurant. Luke will be right back. Mm -hmm.